In the morning sun, wake up to the funds Always having fun, I don't need your buns Yeah you did, when I was down, wasn't trying to wait around For a clown, on his grind, every day Wave squad, what the, yeah, yeah, yeah Back out here again, we got another video just ate a beautifully hefty vegan meal. And while I was eating, I was inspired to make this video. Also because I was talking to one of my friends. And once I got to the subject of the heart versus the mind, they tuned me out because they were like, no. <laughs> so since they didn't want to listen to me, I know YouTube finna listen. Cause I know the people out here want to hear what's the difference What's, what's the benefits and what's the cost of following one's heart versus following one's mind? Now, let's get straight into it. We'll start with the mind. The brain. What is the brain's main function? The brain's main function is to basically be the air traffic controller, <laughs> you feel me, of our bodies. Like, it's like, yo, <laughs> we need some nutrients over here. We need some blah, blah, blah. It's very technical. It's very rational. It's very numbers oriented. You feel me? It's like, this is what we need to do. Calculating, calculating, blah, blah, blah. All right, this is how we get that result. And the brain and the mind are extremely valuable in this sense. And this is how the brain and the mind should be used. But the main issue with our society today is that people value the use of the brain or mind-like activities over the heart-like activities. Now, I will tell you why this is detrimental after I get into the heart's capabilities. Now, the heart, literally, literally, the first organ to fully form when we are babies, when we are born into this earth, the heart the heart, the heart is our electromagnetic center. It has the strongest, the greatest impact on everything we do in life. Like it is actually insane because at the deepest depths of this universe that we're all experiencing is waves, is vibration, is energy. And our heart has the greatest amount of energy in our entire bodies, like our heart when it pumps, it sends out electromagnetic pulses throughout our entire surroundings. You feel me? Not only can our heart sense what's around us to a deeper and greater extent than simply our minds or our eyes or our ears or any other organ can, but it can also emit greater and farther distances than any other organ in our mind. You ever been thinking about somebody and then they hit you up? You know what I mean? Like they, you, you, they appear in your mind and then boom, there goes a text for them or a call for them or whatever. That is because their hearts can literally, literally, when our hearts are vibrating at resonant frequencies with each other, we connect to another person. It's the same thing as a phone call. One phone is a transmitter of an electrical signal. The other phone is a receiver of electrical signal. You feel me? So when boom, 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 I'm calling somebody, I am transmitting a signal to that person. Their phone resonates with that signal <laughs> that I'm transmitting and they see that I'm trying to communicate with them. Our hearts work the exact same way way they literally our hearts can literally connect to anyone and anything in the entirety of the universe because it's, because it's connected to the oneness it's connected to the infinite computational power of the universe whereas our brains are programmed with our body's intelligence they're programmed with the intelligence of our past experiences of our uh, our you know the things we've learned in life Whereas our heart is connected to the infinite. Our heart is connected to the all. Our heart is connected to the divine spark within all of us that was the first organ that came when we were born. You feel me, yo? You see how crazy that is, yo? You see how, you see why I say we need to listen to the heart? Now back to what I was saying of how the heart connects to the mind. Now when we live in a heart center, 
heart-focused life, we manifest the desires of our hearts using our minds. You feel me? So, our hearts are guiding the way. They're leading the way. When you feel pain in your heart, when you feel your heart is heavy, you know something is off in life. You know something is wrong in life. You know something needs to be changed. When the heart is light, you know you're in alignment. You know you're at a frequency that your entire body, your entire soul is resonating with. Thus, you're living in your truth. You're not living a lie. You feel me? Like many, many people on this earth are walking around with heavy hearts, with heavy hearts. And you know if you have a heavy heart, if you're listening to me, you know if you have a light heart. That's why they call it lightheartedness when you see the person that's just living, that's just chilling, that is just fully engulfed in the present moment and enjoying life as it comes and as it happens. This is the way of the heart. Now, <clears throat> we can combine these two extremely powerful mechanisms, extremely powerful mechanisms, and take our heart's guidance and use our mind to find solutions, to find paths, to trek this journey of life with more fluidity, with more knowledge, with more vigor and capacity. This is how we need to move. Many are ignoring their hearts. Many are only listening to their minds of the programming of the TV and our parents and everybody. When in truth, we all have a divine purpose here on this earth. And we must, we must execute this purpose, fam. We must, there's no, there's no other option. The earth, us, the animals, the plants, everything depends on us living in our truth and in our life's purpose. That's why I get up here on YouTube and I be talking to whoever is listening to this. I don't know who's listening to this, but the fact that it was in my soul to come up here and make this video so heavily that like, yo, if I don't make this video, I can't, I can't sleep today. <laughs> you feel me? I know I'm living in my divine purpose. I know I'm giving the universe what I was meant to give. My heart is light. But at the same time, my heart is full. You feel me? And that's how I want everyone in the world to be living. And not to say I want to control everyone in the world or anything like that. But once we begin living in a heart-centered fashion, we will see the beauty of life unfold. We will be able to truly, 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 truly encapsulate and immerse ourselves in this experience, in this movie, and this divine unraveling we call life. Wow, I feel so aligned right now. I feel so at one right now. Thank you if you made it all the way to this point in the video. And you, my friend, I really wish you the best in life. And I wish that you follow your heart from this point on and unfold your greatest journey. That's really the message for today, fam. Stay blessed. Stay love. Way squad. Oh! <laughs>